What's up guys? Uh, today, hopefully you can hear me, uh, we're going to a place called Starfish Beach and then we're gonna go to the northwesternmost part of the island and yeah, I'm just crossing the intersection here. Uh, and then we're gonna watch the sunset. So come on along. First we're gonna go get some gas and uh, drive up there, so let's go. So guys, if you can see these right here on the poles, that's peppercorn. Um, yeah, and you'll see it uh, throughout the island. They've got several farms here. Like I told you in the video just earlier uh, on my travel vlog through uh, the pier and the waterfront shrine. If you haven't watched that, I'll just place that right above. Um, but yeah, eventually what I'm going to be doing is actually an entire video on peppercorn, how it's grown here, uh, the farms and everything. And I'm actually going to try to stay at a farm and uh, learn a lot more about it. But there you guys go, peppercorns. So much bumpiness. Oh, finally, nice roads again. Ah. <laughs> Up and back to the dirt roads. Bumpity, bumpity, bumpity. Oh, bump, bump, bump. Shit. <laughs> Yo. One eternity later. So, guys, we just arrived at uh, Starfish Beach. So, what we're gonna be doing is, uh, well, first I got a little uh, passion fruit juice. Uh, you can see that right here on the table. And uh, what we're gonna be doing is try to find some starfish. The water right there was a little, a little gunky. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna try to find some cleaner area where we can find some of these starfish. All right, here we go, guys. You guys saw some starfish here. Let's, uh... Hopefully you guys can still hear me with this, uh, with the water here. Let me, I'm gonna try to rub off the, The water droplets. Guys, we've got tons and tons of starfish here. Well, tons. You've got, you definitely got a few. Um, and the beach here is a little, a little cleaner than it was on the other side. Um, and I'm not entirely sure why, but there's not nearly as much like development here, so that might be partially the reason why. thing I just wanted to talk about is a lot of places you'll see uh, well I think people don't really understand what starfish may be um, starfish are living organisms um, and just like most things in a marine environment uh, you just shouldn't touch them uh, especially because a lot of these marine organisms aren't used to the bacteria that we're used to um, so it can be quite dangerous for them uh, when we touch them and uh, also just pulling them out of the water and stuff you'll see a lot of people doing that and I think a lot of people just don't realize uh, they are actually alive um, so those of you watching if you ever do come here to Starfish Beach um, you know please remember just try not to touch them uh, and definitely don't pull them out of the water because uh, they will dry out and die so please keep that in mind um, but, yeah, besides that, this is quite an amazing beach, actually. Mm. 
gonna go ahead and tell you guys a few fun facts about starfish or truthfully what they should be called is uh, sea stars um, because technically they're not fish at all they have no gills uh, and uh, yeah they just they, they aren't fish they're, they're actually more related to sand dollars and sea urchins um, so one cool fact or several cool facts about starfish they have no brain and blood so nutrients are uh, pumped throughout the body uh, through some interesting mechanisms which I'm not gonna go fully into um, because I don't technically know them um, <laughs> another cool thing is that they can detach their arms if they need to so for example their predator is trying to eat them they just detach an arm and they can grow those arms back um, and they can live up to 35 years and some of them have up to 40 arms uh, with that being said I think we're about to go get some seafood right here as you guys can see oh flipping it over here uh, there are several little seaside seafood places here and we're gonna see if we can't get a little something to eat because I am hungry. We're gonna have some hai san, so some seafood here along, as you can see, along the waterfront. So we were just, oh, we were just over there on the beach. It's a little overexposed so you guys can't see that so well. Um, but you just come along this pier all the way up to here and then you've got these kind of little bungalow things along the beach or just along the waterfront and where you can get some fresh seafood. We, we've tried something semi well i'm trying something semi semi boring uh which is just uh fried rice uh with crab but what we're going to be trying as well this is the first time i'm trying this guys is sea urchin i want to take some lime squeeze it all up in this oh you guys can you can see on the inside you're supposed to be eating kind of that orangey stuff ah come here That's not bad though. Hold me on. She'll she'll be right. So sorry guys, I'm squinting a little bit because we got the sun right in my eyes. So we just finished eating here some high sun. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so we just finished eating some high sun. And uh, this is kind of the end of the pier, as you can see. Boom. And I don't know if you guys can see, it's a little exposed because of the sun, but over here, I'm pretty sure that's Cambodia already. Um, so it's crazy to know how close Cambodia is to uh, the coastline of Phuong, the northern coastline to say. Um, but now we finished eating, we're gonna start heading back uh, into town where we'll enjoy the sunset. So guys, I was gonna be going to uh, a different place for the sunset, but just realized that if I drive anywhere else, um, there will be no sunset by the time I get there because it takes about 45 minutes to get anywhere from here. So I'm just gonna enjoy the sunset here on Starfish or Sea Star Beach. And while I'm doing that, I'm actually gonna live stream this experience. So as you can see, I'm gonna be live streaming this on TikTok. So uh, if you guys haven't already, you can follow me on TikTok and I do live streams like two or three times a week. And hopefully I'll be doing live streams on YouTube soon. So. I'll keep you guys updated. So guys, after eating our seafood, our high sun, um, we're enjoying 
the sunset. Uh, because originally I was going to go somewhere else for the sunset, but as I said before, driving anywhere else would be... Uh, it would take a little too much time and we would have missed it. So I decided to stay here on Sea Star Beach and here it is. Woo! I wonder if you guys can actually see me very well. It's not deep at all though. <laughs> So guys, it's already a little dark. I was gonna film right after the sunset, but my GoPro died, so I have to use my camera now, or my phone. Um, yeah guys, so that was our trip today here at Sea Star or Starfish Beach here in the northern coast of Phu Wok, Vietnam. So guys, if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe it. Uh, I'll be coming out with videos once or twice a week now. Um, and feel free to give me some suggestions like are there things you'd like for me to work on do you want some more drone shots do you want more vloggy type of material what do you guys like um feel free to let me know leave your suggestions in the comments below i'll be more than happy uh to read those and uh to try to make better content for you all so with that being said guys i hope you enjoyed uh your day with us here uh at uh, starfish beach in Walk. And um, like I said, in the near future, I'll be having some videos about the peppercorn here, about the cable cars, the water park, um, maybe some scuba diving, uh, and there's a bunch of other things I'll be doing soon. So with that being said, guys, please stay safe, and I'll see you guys soon. So ciao, ciao. <laughs>